Hello and welcome to another AIC Productions video. Today we're doing another Firearms Friday. I want to do kind of a quick video and do some updates on some of my favorite guns that I own. Kind of go over them, why I like them so much, and also give an update on them because I've featured these in, in previous videos. So I definitely wanted to give just an overview how they're doing. I have a lot more rounds through them since the last video I did with them. And so just wanted to talk to talk about them. Uh, this video is not sponsored by Ruger, despite the fact that several of the guns in this video will be Ruger's and they sent me some really cool t-shirts. So thanks to Ruger for the cool t-shirts and for selling some cool guns. But again, they did not sponsor this video. Uh, nobody sponsored this video because I am too small to have sponsors. Speaking of which, uh, I have some new intros uh, out there, change up the format a little bit. If you like what you see, let me know. If you don't like what you see, let me know. Um, I'm really trying to put some more time and effort into this and make it a more hopefully valuable experience for you, my viewers. And I'm having some other upgrades that I'm planning here fairly soon. Uh, so hopefully that will, there will be some more improvements. Anyways, let's go ahead and get to the main event, which are some firearms in these cases. So we're going to start off with a Ruger. So I have two of these, but this is my Ruger Mark IV 2245 Lights. And man, these are a great gun. If you're looking to buy a 22 handgun, this, if it's not on top of your list of options, it should be. It absolutely 100% should be. Uh, first of all, the way they look, they're just, they're, they come in so many different styles, colors, looks, whatever. They, they look good. You can get one that really, you know, fits your style preference. And they're reliable. They're fun to shoot. Uh, they're not inexpensive, but they're also not terribly expensive either. Uh, and they just, they're really good. Uh, on my silver one, I have a tandem cross halo on the back and a compensator on the front. I don't have that for my purple one. I really want, and I'm looking to get a silencer for it here soon. Uh, but you know, again, they're, they have threaded barrels right out of the box for the most part. Now, obviously that depends on the state that you're in and what's legal in your area. They have a few different variants, some of which don't have threaded barrels because that way they can sell them in places that don't allow that. But if you're in a freedom loving state like I am, you have a lot of choice and a lot of options. And one of the best things about this gun is just how easy it is to clean and maintain this gun, which means it remains an extremely reliable and fun to shoot gun. I love this thing. It, it, uh, there's a reason why I own two of them. There, there really is a really great gun. So uh, I have probably about 1,000, 1,500 rounds through this gun at this point. Uh, I've been doing some of my ammo uh, reliability testing. I uh, haven't done that for a little while just because ammo right now, uh, 22 ammo, besides not being something I can really purchase right now, uh, when I can, it was about two and a half to three cents a round I was paying. Now I'm struggling to find it under six cents a round if I can even find it at all. So. Uh, once ammo prices come down and availability goes up, uh, I will definitely be doing a lot more of that. I just, I have what I have in ammo right now and I don't want to shoot through it too much. But, uh, so you'll be seeing a lot more of those coming up here soon, hopefully. But yeah, just again, if you're looking for just a nice shooting gun, uh, this should be one of the top guns on your list if you can get it in your state. I know they're not available in California, which is insane to me. Um, yeah, that's just insane. Next one on the list is my Walter Colt 22 1911. So I have probably close to 5,000 rounds through the gun at this point. Uh, when I first bought it, it definitely had a little bit of a break-in period uh, with the gun, but then it was great for many thousands of rounds. But the last time I took it out to the range, I noticed it was just a little bit slow getting back into battery. And a couple of times I just had to, after I fired, just put my thumb on the back of the slide and just push it back into place. 
Um, on one of my videos about this gun, somebody recommended to me that there is an upgraded uh, recoil spring. So I went ahead and purchased that. Uh, here's the, the factory one that came in the gun. Oh, come on. And here's the new one. And you can see that the new one has a much tighter coil, it is a heavier gauge of wire by quite a bit and is much shorter overall. I haven't had a chance to shoot this. This literally just came in like a day ago. And so I haven't had a chance to take it out to the range. Right now the range, because of COVID and all the new gun shooters and everything, they have only have a one hour time limit. And they really, last time I was there and I was going through and shooting some of my guns, I, with my 22, I was just trying to go through some quick rounds. And they kind of came over and said, you know, slow it down, you're making too much noise. It's kind of crazy there right now. So. Um, it'll be a little bit before I can make it out again um, to see what the difference is between the two springs. I definitely will be bringing both springs and seeing, you know, shooting uh, some rounds with both of them to see what that difference is. Uh, if you're interested in the spring, I'll leave a link to it in the uh, description down below. It is made by ZR Tactical. So uh, I, I can't recommend it or not because I haven't shot with it in the gun at this point. Um, but I definitely can tell when articulating the slide that it is it feels a lot firmer um, whether that translates to more reliability or not I don't know um, I definitely would put this in the in my top list of guns uh, it's between this or this of my 22s uh, I have m way more rounds to this than I have of my 2245 lights combined uh, but I, I love a, a good 1911 and this is a good 1911 uh, love this gun so and I don't know um, these are different grips than I had my last time I showed this video these are these are Hogue grips um, I want to say they're in dark earth is the color um, but they are what I saw on the gun in the advertisements when I first bought it uh, and it came with those really crap craptastic black guns I've had I think it was my third set of grips on this gun but I finally found ones I really like. Um, I think they match the gun real well and just look excellent. Uh, I haven't bought any more magazines or anything else for it. Um, just, the, just the new spring. Really hoping that that allows for a little bit more reliability. I think that old, old spring just with, I mean, again, I have 5,000-ish rounds, four or 5,000 rounds through the gun. Just a lot of ammunition through it. So uh, maybe the spring was just getting a little worn out. We'll see. Next up is my Ruger Wrangler. So I can't remember if I had these grips on this gun. I think I did. I had these grips up pretty pretty quick right after I got the gun. Um, oh, these are such attractive uh, feature on the gun. These these aftermarket grips. Uh, if you're looking at getting one of these, upgrading the grips. The grips that come with it are are fine. There's nothing wrong with them. Unlike the Colt that had just awful grips. They were a soft plastic. You could, they squished in your hand. Uh, the grips that come on this are fine, but they're just a hard plasticky rubber stuff. Um, they don't look great, uh, especially with the black gun. They just are there. Uh, they don't bring any accent to it or, or show off or anything. Upgrading to some wood grips uh, or, or aftermarket grips in general, definitely dress up the gun quite a bit. Uh, not a necessity though. Uh, I love taking this gun out with me, especially when I'm taking somebody out for the, who's going shooting for the first time. There's just something about a 22 revolver, that single action, that sound of the hammer going back on there. If people have watched enough movies, uh, spaghetti westerns, whatever, and this just is a very comfortable and it, a very safe feeling gun for somebody shooting for the first time. Uh, I think they've, you know, again, they just know what to expect out of a gun like this. And so they just get a lot more comfortable with it. And once they get comfortable with it, then they move on to some of the other guns. Um, I'm not a big revolver person. My wife is, but I love having this gun uh, when I take new people out or if I just have some, you know, some kind of crappy ammo that doesn't really fire my autoloaders too well, anything like that. Uh, th this eats it up, no problems, and just does an excellent job of being a gun. If you're looking for a first gun uh, for somebody, this is a great choice. 
one of the best things about it is because you're not having the auto loading in the 22, you just have the single shot in there. Most of the problems you run into with 22 uh, ammunition is whether, for whatever reason, whether the gun gets dirty or the load isn't, the round isn't loaded correctly, you get uh, the action just doesn't cycle right. And so you get failures to feed, failures to eject, and you will sometimes get failure to fire, but that's actually not very common, at least with the ammunition I've shot. Most of the time it's either a failure to eject or a failure to feed problem. And you just obviously don't get that with a 22 revolver because you're not ejecting or feeding it ammo except for one at a time by hand. So um, it really is a great way to boost company's confidence who's shooting for the first time. And last but not least is my P22Q. Uh, I probably have close to a thousand rounds to this gun at this point. I really like this gun. For as much as I hated the P22CA that I had previously, I like this gun. It is accurate, it's fun to shoot, it's, it is a bit diminutive, it's, it is a small gun, I mean, especially compared to like my 1911 here. Um, the grip is smaller, the slide is smaller, it's lighter by a significant amount. This, this 1911's stupid heavy for a 22, but you know, it's just a much smaller gun. The funny thing is, if you open these up, they actually have very similar actions inside of them, uh, being that they're both made by Walter. But I just, no, oh, wrong gun. Um, it's just a really fun gun to shoot. And uh, I've taken my kids out with it. It's a little big for my younger girls, but for like my son, um, he's not thrilled to shoot a pink gun, but he is thrilled to be out shooting with me. Uh, so it's been a great gun for him. Uh, I would not hesitate to recommend this gun. Uh, if you're looking at a used P22, either the original or the CA, avoid those. I, I, I couldn't recommend them. Um, in fact, I actually, after the last time I took uh, my CA out, um, shot it, put a couple hundred rounds through it without issue. Um, you know, I, I spent a lot of time to really clean the gun really, really well, shot some quality ammo through it, and I did not have problems, but because of all the problems I'd had previously with it, I did go ahead and I sold it. Um, in this current climate, I was able to sell it for what I felt to be a very, uh, very aggressive price uh, for me, <laughs> not necessarily the buyer, but it more than paid for my P22Q, what I paid for it, and then some, and so I was happy with that transaction. But yeah, love this gun, and if you're looking for a more compact uh, 22 firearm, uh, definitely should be on your list. Now I don't have a lot of experience with other more compact uh, 22s like the Ruger SR22, things like that, um, just with this one. Uh, I would like to get my hands on more 22 handguns. If you are in the Phoenix area, specifically the East Valley area, uh, let me know. Uh, I would love to try out some more. I'll pay for ammo as much as I can. Um, you know, I'll, I'll definitely get ammo before we go out shooting. But I'd like to try a few different, a uh, few different 22 handguns. There's some that are on my wish list um, that I would like to get my hands on, add to my collection. Uh, at this point, uh, I would like to get a Smith and Wesson. Uh, what is it? The Model 17. That is a 22 revolver. Uh, kind of expensive. Um, and, then, and then just a handful of others. Like I said, the Ruger SR22. Uh, yeah, just, just, I want more. <laughs> like they're my favorite round to shoot by, by a lot. Uh, it's inexpensive typically to shoot, uh, and you can have a lot of guns and a lot of ammo for not a lot of money. So anyways, uh, again, this was a fairly short overview of these guns, uh, and how they've been for me. And definitely any one of these, I would definitely recommend if you're looking for a new handgun, the Mark IV in any variant. Uh, there's a few different variants, but they all function the same, just some cosmetic differences, a little bit difference in grips, things like that, materials, but all of them function the same and are an amazing gun. The Colt, if you are a 1911 person, uh, there's those of us out there that are. I can't think of a better 1911 22. I've looked at some of the other ones, uh, and this one definitely is one of the better ones I've seen for sure without having to step up significantly in what you spend. The Ruger Wrangler 
as far as a single action 22 again without wanting to step up significantly in price i don't think you're going to get a better 22 revolver you know uh, ruger sills are single six that's a seven eight hundred dollar gun sometimes especially in today's market the price is just way too high you can still find these if you shop hard for under two hundred dollars and the walter p22 again just a really nice gun a nice shooter feels good in the hand um, again you want the q variant which is the newer style uh, they definitely made improvements over the previous style to make it more reliable which makes it more fun to shoot anyways if you have any questions about these or any of the other guns i've i've shown as example in my videos definitely feel free to ask in the comment section down below i'll do my best to answer thank you for watching and i hope you have an amazing day